This hat here is actually 4,000 years old. Hey everyone, this is Jaeger here, a member of PATH, and today I am very excited because I'm going to visit an art exhibition which is called The Echo of Camel Bells Along the Silk Road. Silk Road interconnected the Eurasian continent. It also promoted the intermingling of world civilizations. It's a trading road, but it's also a road of art. It is said that this exhibition displays more than 500 exhibits, some of which are exhibited for the first time. They together present an abundant artistic landscape of the eastern section of the Silk Road on land. So without further ado, let us embark on this journey of discovering the art along the Silk Road. Let's get started. Look at this statue of Buddha. It's a crown Buddha and it was brought from Longmen Grottoes of Luoyang in Henan province. And you can see how huge it is. It's actually the biggest exhibit here. And together with its base, its total weight is more than seven tons. Standing next to it and looking at it, it's got that solemn feel. As early as the first century AD, Buddhism spread from India to China along the Silk Road. And with it came the Buddhist tradition of building grottoes and Buddhist caves. One of the highlights of this art exhibition is that there are five replica grottoes. The mural images were digitized and a one-to-one -one model was made according to the size of the original cave. This is the eighth temple. The eighth temple is located in the Xinjiang Sea. It is the first temple of the Buddhist temple in China. For different reasons, the eighth temple was destroyed. The eighth temple is because it is so high. The eighth temple is still in place. 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 It's totally made of pure gold. This is a special mask, and it was used to cover the face of the person who, who died. So it was made in the shape of the tomb owner. What's really cool is that its eyes, the beard, and the eyebrows, it's made using rubies. You probably won't believe it, but this hat here is actually 4,000 years old. This hat has been preserved so well. It, it's just so beautiful. Camel is known to be a ship of the desert. The trade of the Silk Road along these routes heavily relied on the backs of these camels. And here we can see some statues and figures of camels. And this is my favorite, like a standing camel. And on top of him is a person casually eating a cake. You kind of can imagine merchants at that time didn't have time to stop and have a real meal.为什么会选择这个展来看 裡面,而且可能那些庫也被破壞了很多,然後他通過一些復原的技術,然後可以讓我們重新的感受到一些盡可能還原出當時的那種場景或者是一些畫面。我看到這個土國的這個服裝,其實它既有這個漢民族、中
不同地区的人们，然后大家曾经非常和平、非常繁荣的生活在一起，就会这样遥想着，会觉得让人比较感动。People always like to put their dreams and passions into their art. That's why it was so inspirational to see such a great variety of artworks that were found along the Silk Road. Seeing so many different cultures and customs merging together was really incredible. Guys, that's it for this episode of Onside. It was Jaeger with you. I'll see you on our next adventure. See you there.